Hello everyone, uh, today I am going to show you implement tree view in ESP.NET Core. So first of all, uh, create a new project in ESP.NET Core. Uh, the basic, be uh, the logic behind the tree view is the uh, uh, one to many and many to uh, one relationship between the uh, each uh, node. Uh, and uh, you can say that if you uh, define the two level only, that is the parent level and the child mm, level. So you have only two tables. The first table is related to the city and the second table is related to the states. So here we have uh, some data in the city uh, or you can say that uh, we have some uh, attribute uh, data members in the city field well, that is ID title and the, it's also uh, city is related to the state table. So also state have uh, two uh, properties that is ID and title. A state has the only the single city, so use virtual. Sorry, a state have the multiple city, and the city have uh, only one state. So uh, one to many relationship between the state and the city tables. So after that, you can uh, add a new uh, tree view node as a uh, view model. So because in the tree view node we have id parent id as well as the text id it's directly represent to the uh, city table so okay uh, so all the city and the states represent the tree view node and after that create the tree view node you can uh, add uh, two uh, entity set in the uh, database by using the application db class uh, you know variable and get set and after that you can add new the city okay okay that's fine now uh, you can uh, migrate your <coughs> sorry migrate your database uh, by using add migration and perform migration so migration is completed uh, by using update database command yeah successfully created so close all the tabs now after that you can add a new uh, controller class or you can say you can do in the uh, home controller also so first of all check your database because uh, initially uh, you have uh, you can put some data in the database table like the state and the city so first of all check ASP.NET Core yeah there there is yeah successfully created in the uh, explorer it's not my database it's here uh, yeah city and state is there city have three uh, attribute and the state have two attribute state id and state name okay now in the home controller class create a application db object and initialize with the uh, by using the constructor class so application db underscore context constructor okay and uh, application db context context equals to context okay that's fine now in the uh, index action method we can retrieve uh, the data from the state table as well as the city table and pass to the tree view node so create a list of type uh, tree view node first of all create a list of type tree view node after that you can retrieve the state table by using the context dot state and add that data into the context uh, sorry add that data into the tree view node and after that you can uh, uh, retrieve the city and the city data will uh, add in the tree view node in that manner first of all id is retrieved from the state id and uh, when we uh, expand that node then sub id is represent to the city id okay so uh, state id and the text is also the subtitle dot uh, name okay there is it's easy it's a relationship between the many to many uh, sorry one to many relationship between these tables Uh, to resolve the uh, JSON uh, 
convert JSON, so use a Newton soft to serialize that object JavaScript serializer in place of a Newton soft dot JSON. So use new, uh, Newton soft to JSON soft sorry JSON to convert dot serialize. After that you can use HTTP POST method. Here you can deserialize that object, review node and selected item. And selected item retrieved from the uh, mm, uh, dot .cshtml file. Here we have cshtml file. If you want to uh, read the code file, you can check my description and resolve your uh, query by using the, their code. I provide the code in the uh, description box. Comment this section. So first of all, add some data in the uh, database tables like Rajasthan and Haryana. It's an Indian state. And uh, in the city table, you can add Jaipur the state's ID is mandatory to retrieve one and Kota is one also and Bhivani is related to the state too. So thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching my all other videos which is related to ASP.NET Core. I am providing you better video tutorial of ASP.NET Core in future. If you learn better then you get a related job. Okay, here we have three items in the selected. So thank you guys for watching this video again and keep watching all other videos. If you find the code, please check my description box to related the source code. So thank you guys again for watching and don't forget this. Please subscribe my channel because uh, I need your subscription. Please subscribe my channel. Thank you guys.